Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen, mofo. Ain't no time to slack. So just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother. Just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Welcome, my fellow virgins, or previous ex-virgins. Yeah, all of you people ask me, why do you call it my virgin kitchen? Because video number one, when I poached an egg, the kitchen was a virgin to me. I hope that answers your question. And all of you that ask me, are you a chef, Barry? I'm not a chef, I self-taught myself. We're gonna revisit step one in this video right here. But anyway, enough about that. Just blurted that out right there. Today, we are making some bacon weave pots, okay? Just a little idea I came up with about using sort of pots like this. Um, two, three. Uh, bacon sort of gonna sit in there, and these are like ramekin pot things, and you can put puddings in them. They're gonna be awesome. So you can make your own, in fact, you can even make your own out of tin foil, just wrap it around an orange if you haven't got one of those. And um, what we're gonna do is use the ingredients as follows, but you do not need to have them. You can just mix it up, make it your own, and a lot of you, I showed a picture of it, you think it's gonna be a good hangover cure, but these are all the ingredients I'm gonna use. So uh, take a little look, hit pause on the video now, I'm writing them all down. And a lot of you are going, yeah, that's gonna be an amazing hangover cure. So, I'm not drunk, but I'm gonna have a little bit of rum, okay? So let's, uh, let's get in the mood. <coughs> All right, let's get on and make it. Okay, nice quick video today. We're not gonna muck around. It's not like I'm gonna wear a Michael Jackson glove or anything like that. Wow! <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically the first thing we're gonna do is make a bacon weave, and I'm not gonna wear this glove for that step. We're just gonna make it, okay? So all these ingredients can just brush to the side, and uh, let's get on and make the weave. Whoa! Yeah, baby! Okay then, my funky virgins, this looks like a massive sheet of bacon, but it's not, it's five milli rasters, okay? So if I pull one, miss one, pull the other one, so one our third, and then miss the fourth, and then pull the fifth, like so. We'll just grab another sheet of bacon and droop that in there, like this. This is making our bacon weave. Now pull those ones back that you hit, and then what you do is you hit the other two, like so, so you've got one, two, like that. Pull it back like this. Another sheet of bacon, oh yeah, tuck that in there like that. This is sort of very epic mealtime style. So that goes on there, and then you get your three back again. You know, you get the idea. That's it, all done, I sped up the video there, so I can trim this down. This weave is way too big for what we need, but it's perfect, good practice my friends. Digging it. Okay, so as you know, the bacon weave is done. I'll trim the edges to make it look like a bacon blanket. Oh my goodness, you guys have so much love for bacon, so I'm gonna share that with you. Here we go, check that out. Nice bacon weave, you're going right into it. Boom, like that. So we've got to drape it over this like dishy thing now. So your pot, your tin foil, uh, your ramekin, whatever you're gonna use, okay? So that's the thing. Use a fish slice and drape it in and just tuck it in, okay? That's the most trickiest bit out of this whole process. So just do your best, okay? Thanks, bye. Okay, so the bacon weave is now gonna go inside this pot, and this pot is a lot smaller, so we've made it big. Good thing is I can sit it in there, it's gonna stick out and I'll trim around the edge, so let's just go for it. <laughs> okay, so that's it sat on there. What you gotta do is get your thumb and fingers and just sort of start to push it in, and obviously it's just gonna stick up, and as I say, just trim around the edges, okay? So uh, again, clicky finger time. <laughs> there we go, I actually moved it a little bit to the right there, so it might have gone burp like that, but there we go, it's all in there, so I'm just gonna trim around that excess, give it a little bit of leeway so it's got a bacon lip, it's kind of like a mini bacon bowl. I'm excited by this. We need to move on though. Let's, let's move on. Yeah. Okay, so my next step, as you can see, is a very professional setup, by the way, as you can see just there. Look, at that's really health and safety conscious right there. It's just me on my own, baby. It's just me. Uh, here we go. Got a saucepan here, which is on a low flame like so. What I'm gonna do, I've chopped up my mushrooms nice and fine. Just gonna plonk them in there. I'm gonna cook them just, just a teeny bit, just to soften them up, because I don't wanna put them in my pot like that and I'm not to cook through and be like, all like, ooh, these taste a bit raw. But you can have them like that if you want. It's completely up to you. So I'm just gonna cook them through, literally about two minutes, and I'm gonna chuck them in to a mixing bowl with some cheese, <laughs> cheese, beans. In fact, the beans can go in now. Hang on, bear with me. <laughs> okay, that'll do, beans are in there. I'm gonna put some herbs in there, some Worcester sauce, some black pepper, and the mushrooms, which are nearly done already. I just want a little blast, little blast. Yeah. Okay, so that's literally been two minutes and these mushrooms are just literally done. They're like, oh, I'm just a little warm. So that's what the way I'm gonna want. I'm just gonna scrape them in there. Michael Jackson glove is making it a little awkward. I'm not gonna lie. So scrape those in there. Mushrooms there. Add some black pepper, just a teeny weeny bit. Shamal. A dusting of some mixed herbs, around about a teaspoon or so on there. A little bit of flavor spank. Oh my goodness. And a little bit of tang from some Worcester sauce. Just a teaspoon, just a drop. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Grab yourself a spoon, mix it up. Okay, so this is my spoon, and this is what stirring looks like. I've given it a thorough good mix through. This is my filling. This is my choice, but it's completely up to you. If you want something a bit more hardcore, if you want to put some sausage in there, some chicken, cook the chicken slash sausage first, chunk up little bits and chuck it in there as well, mix it all together. But the beans, baby, are what's really going to add to this dish. Sha ma wa 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 Okay, so now we bring back in our bacon pot like this. Oh my God, look at that. Can you just have that on like your mantelpiece at home, right by the telly or something like that, just looking at it all day? Maybe not. But anyhow, we got our bean mixture now and just spoon it in right in there. Pat it right down, okay? Get it in there, okay? It's all good. Okay, so that is our bacon pot all filled up. What I'm gonna do is give it a teeny weeny dusting of like some great, dusting of grated cheese? Uh, that's not really the word. Maybe just um, spreading of grated cheese. That goes on there. now. That is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes on a lower shelf, okay, nice and cooked through and so warm and bubbling. And what we're going to do is poach an egg, just like my very first video, so emotional. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie Oliver. You might be watching this one, I don't know, maybe. And um, thank you for inspiring me because I just love making poached eggs now. But what you might want to do is take it to another level. Rather than poaching an egg, put it on separately. What you can do is crack an egg and sit it on there, whack it in the oven with it. Now that's hardcore. I ain't going to do that, but you can. You might not want to put an egg on it anyway. Let's get it in the oven and then we'll move on to the egg and then we're done. Yeah. Okay, my friends, this is my oven. And as you'll notice, there is a jacket potato in there. That is because for dinner, I'm having a jacket potato with some bolognese. I'm not gonna eat this. I'm just gonna throw it in the bin. Um, then this look like a little bacon flour. I promise you these taste good and I will be having some, trust me. I'm just doing this video to show you really. Hopefully you'll give it a go. So yeah, plonk that in the oven, be nice and careful. <laughs> Uh -huh. Middle shelf, as I say, let's push that shelf back in a little bit. Oh yeah. Get it in like that. You don't want to cook it too high a shelf because then the bacon will cook really fast. What you want in the insides underneath all that is the beans and the mushrooms and all that other stuff and the cheese to merge together like that and bubble away. That's what you want. And then we're going to poach an egg and then we are done then. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so about 17 minutes in, it's time to poach our eggs. I've got some cereal water right there and I've got an egg. Both things are required to poach an egg. There's also two things I've learned from poaching an egg. One, it's really good to have some really deep water because you're gonna pour that egg in there and it's gonna sort of put on its goggles and dive in and just swim around and it'll help it, okay? Don't, not shallow, don't like it, okay? It's not cool. Um, also, keep the water simmering. Don't boil it because it'll cook too fast. Around about two and a half minutes. So, let's chuck this in right now. There we go, let's go, boom, straight in like that. One thing also about poached eggs, that was my first ever video. If you want to go back, have a laugh, watch it, you can. Back then I never knew where this journey would take us, and to be honest, I still don't. And uh, very nervous, very bad editing, but yeah, just proves that anyone can do it. Look, you could be doing this like me. Sorry. Okay, I'm just getting my bacon pot out of the oven, and it's going straight onto the plate like that. That pot is piping hot, just shut my oven there. Wow, let it cool down just a teeny bit. Our poached egg is gonna sit right on top of that any minute now. Oh my goodness, I wanna break in there. Wow! My poached egg is done. My bacon pot is waiting. Let's make them merge. Let's do it. Okay, folks, there is my bacon pot. It's still very hot. I've got my poached egg here on a spoon. Just gonna slide that on there. Ha, 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 that's hot. Oh my goodness. Let's get some oil on there. Teeny, weeny, weeny bit of olive oil. Oh my goodness, let it drip off. Grind that black pepper on there. Now, this is what I want to happen. I want that fork to break in there. Break open the yolk and all that cheese and that beans all together in there. Oh my goodness, I came up with this idea. I'm excited and I want to eat that. That would be an amazing hangover cure. Yes, I agree with you people. Let's eat some. Okay, so our bacon weave pot is there, ready. Amazing, I'm so excited by this. Kind of looks like a baking cupcake from a distance, right? I'm just going to go in there. I've already broken that yolk and that egg. Oh, I'm just going to mix it together. I mix the yolk and the egg, the beans, the mushrooms, and the cheese. Oh my goodness, it's all glooping together like that. It's going to get a big mix. Wow, it's piping hot. Let it cool down a bit. Oh my goodness. So naughty, so naughty. Obviously, you've got a little bit of that fat from the bacon in there. That's why I haven't added any salt. So it's cheeky. Definitely a hangover cure for sure. I love it. Little creative crazy idea, I guess, but you guys wanted me to make it, so if I can make it, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again next time. Uh, see you again. Bye.